Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over an early lineup build series for the uh, NFL showdown slate tonight between Green Bay Packers and Las Vegas Raiders. Um, we're going to put a couple of things together. We're going to, number one, utilize our custom projections. Uh, number two, we're going to use Saberson to build lineups. In addition to that, we're going to use uh, the contest sim tool to help tailor our lineups to the particular contests we're in. And we're also going to add a little bit of kind of anti-duplication medication um, to uh, each set of lineups for each contest that we're in. And we're going to get to all of that stuff. I hope to not go too far into the weeds. I'm going to try not to. But just to give you an idea of, of how to use all the tools available uh, to you, especially if you're a TrueDFS subscriber. So the first thing that we're going to do is if you're a TrueDFS through SaberSim subscriber, you're going to have access to SaberSim for openings. Second thing is you're going to have access to the custom projections aside from SaberSim, which will allow you to aggregate a lot of projections from across the industry. You get my, my own tweaks and things like that. So the first thing I want to do is let's upload the custom projections, so the SaberSim uh, technology here, and we will save. Okay, and that would automatically preload for you, I believe, if you were in TrueDFS, or you could just download them from our site, upload them this way. Okay, uh, the next thing I want to do is we are going to build like a pool of lineups to work with, and so we're not going to make any changes. We're just going to put in, you know, the max we can build, which I think is 5,000. We're going to put 50, but, but the real thing is we're building 5,000 to choose from. And that's really important. And we're not going to put any minimum salary or anything like that, make it like 40,000, I guess. Um, and that is going to become maybe important as well. We don't have to do anything with this because we're going to change all this once we get to contest sims and things like that. Um, and then we're just going to hit build. We're not going to do anything else. We're not going to add our groups. We're not going to do groups. We're not going to do adjusting projections after this point. We're not going to say, I only want, you know, three receivers and Raiders. And we're not going to say, I want no, you know, Jacoby Myers and, and uh, I don't know, Hunter Renfro together, whatever it is. We're just building a pool of 5,000 lineups. Um, the other thing that we did, just so you know in advance, um, is we put our contest sims into here. Um, I'll go through one of them to show you what I did, but these are just the four lot, the four contests I happen to be playing. And what you do is you got to put in the contest size, the percent for first, the percent entry played, paid, and the number of sims. And again, for those of you here for the first time, the reason we do this is so that we can basically tailor our lineups to the actual contest that we're playing. Because some contests are good, or some lineups are good when you're fighting 100 people, where other contests are good when you're following, you know, fighting 100,000 people. Um, so I did that again for both the MME lottery, which has all those people in it, the um, two point conversion, which has only 2,500 people in it, the four point conversion. I'll just make through this which has only 350 people in it, which again, this requires a different type of build. And the SPY, which is a single entry, which has even less, and that has 1,111 people in it. I mean, it has less than uh, uh, the lottery. Again, lineup rules, nothing. Contest sims, we've done. We're literally just waiting for the 5,000 lineups to be built. Now I could just pause this, but I'd like everybody to see how long this takes to roll, to roll through 5,000 lineups like this. As for who I like in the game, I, you're asking the wrong one. I, mean, I, I don't, I think the line's are pretty efficient in the NFL. Um, I, I, Yes, Green Bay. Uh, uh, but I guess I guess Green Bay because I think Vegas is probably the the more popular side here. 
I mean, you get Vegas, I think almost a home dog. And Green Bay hasn't really looked that good. So why on earth anybody take Green Bay and lay points on the road? So I guess by that definition, I think Green Bay would probably be the better play. But it looks like an even spread, looks like a four, you know, 45 point total. So it's not as if there's any one weird um, one weird approach. You do see Aaron Jones is being questionable. I expect him to play. You do see Devontae Adams is questionable. I expect him to play. It's just give you a game of all the main guys. And then as usual with showdown, it's a question of how about how far off of the main guys, you know, do you want to go? And 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 mostly <laughs> comes down to again what what types of contests that you're playing hopefully there's gonna be enough of a difference between the builds to uh to uh demonstrate that okay so lineups are built and here's there's five thousand lineups and we're they're just listing them any which way right now they're listing them by just their default saber score thing so the first thing I want to do is I want to run the contest sims. okay and here's the button here run contest sims it already has these four things in them. And this should take about a minute. And I already pre-entered some lineups into the uh, into the, these contests, which is important because what you have to do is when you save these to the contest, it's got to download the pre-existing entry files from somewhere. So you have to have actually entered something. Anybody cares? Uh, the main unadjusted lineups would have Devonta Adams, or the, the usual guys. Okay, let's just get right to it. So right now, what I could do is this: is go into each contest. Like we'll start with MME lottery, and we'll sort these by. I think risk adjusted ROI is the best way to do this. And basically, these are the top fifty lineups for this particular contest sorted by RA, uh, ROI, risk-adjusted ROI. And you can feel pretty comfortable that these contests have now been pre-selected to confer conform to the type of contest that you're playing because you've entered those, those things. Now, there's a couple of things you could do from this point. Well, one, you can just upload them to your contest and so we can show you how to do that in a minute. The other thing you could do is you could, is you could increase the amount of uniques, um, meaning the amount of... Uh, different unique players per lineup. That's probably a good idea. But what I like to do is also give this a little bit of uniqueness medication. And what that means is that what this process does not do necessarily is calculate how many other people you know, are likely to do this. In other words, um, yes, these are good upside lineups. They're run against the contest and you're running against ownership, but you need to give it a little juice as far as like reducing the amount of duplication that your lineup is going to have with other people. Um, so one way to do that is using the geometric mean to uh, and apply that to your lineups. Now, I'm not gonna get too into the weeds on how the geometric mean is, is calculated. I mean, here's the formula if you want. You can look at Sabersim has a, a hundred tutorials on this as does every, you know, any, just Google it, geometric mean to come up with this. Um, but basically, if you know how many players there are in the lineup, that you have to enter the amount of entries and the amount of dupes you want to limit it to, you could enter those and then it could calculate a geometric mean for you. So for the Millie maker lineup, I don't, I think it's a little greedy to, to ask for like one dupe. You know? So, so let's, let's see if we can really jam in like some unique lineups and limit five dupes max. Okay. But that's a pretty, I mean, that's honestly a pretty big deal. Okay. Um, uh, to have like less than five duplicated lineups. Uh, not, you know, five dupes to your lineup. So let's, uh, so when we put that in, you see the geometric mean is 18.3. It's actually 0.183, but the way that you know, it's calculated in terms of percent, so 18.3. So there are two ways you can handle this number. One way is at the initial building phase, which is what we didn't do. You can go into lineup rules and just, you know, make your own rule here where you only create lineups with a geometric mean or whatever you want. But that that is is not to be preferred 
what what's because what that does is it just it builds from kind of like the bottom up it gives you say like 50 good lineups 50 lineups with a geometric mean of x but you don't really know if those lineups were even viable compared to a group of 50 of 5,000, you know, like if you build 5,000 lineups and then you run a geometric mean of 18 and let's say you didn't get any, then it's probably, it's not a good slate to be going for those types of lineups where if you had just built it demanding a geometric mean of, of 18 or lower and you get like, you know, you'll get what you ask for, you know, um, it's likely that those lineups just have no chance. Okay, so so so, it's better to build as many lineups as they'll let you build, and then see if you can get a decent amount of that geometric mean. So what you do is, since we have the five thousand lineups built already, let's reduce the min uniques to one for a minute because we want to just get as many lineups as we can, and then we can build another filter. So what we did was. Um, there is a, a filter here, which we did, which we called geotest. So what I did was I added a metric down here and created this thing called geotest. And you call it whatever you want, but what you do is you put my own, and then you this drop down gives you product geo mean, and then it's you're gonna do it based on value, okay? And you give it a weight of one or whatever it is, and you save it. And so now when you have this pool of lineups you can now sort it by, or you could sort it by this metric, or you can filter by this metric. Like, so for example, um, lineup filters, add filter, we will show lineups with geotest less than, Eight, what was it, 18? 18. And see what we get. So good. You were able to get 50 lineups that had a geometric mean of what you wanted and has been tailored to that particular contest, right, that you have created. And then see geotest 16.74. My metric. This one. All right. Um, now again, these these might not be the greatest plays in the world again, but we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not talking about that now. We're talking about building lineups that look viable based on the and based on what we put in there, okay? Um, so you can get to them. Now, the one thing that we didn't do, we didn't filter out these guys that had like almost zeros, okay? And so this is kind of a post-build process that you might have to, have to do. Um, but this is the way you can build and kind of give anti-dupe medication to this, okay? Now, if you were going to also then do... Um, we can just we can put these lineups in now just to show you. But yeah, we might, we might as well. Let's do it. So let's um put these in. We'll put these in the milli. Save that. Oop, actually, we need to put a hundred. Can we put a hundred lineups in? Uh oh yeah, we're able to do it. So we'll put a hundred into the showdown. Boom. Now we'll go to the next one, which is the Let's look at the two-point conversion. All right, so we'll sort the two-point conversion by ROI, but we don't need to have that big of a geometric mean requirement for the two-point conversion, right? Because the two-point conversion, as we recall, two-point conversion had only 2,502 um, entries. So you put in 2,502, well, here for this one, you want you don't want more than one. Okay, so, oops, sorry about that. No, no. Okay, so we're only twenty five hundred and two entries here. Here you only want one dupe. So, 
We want a geometric mean of 27. So here we can then sort this one. Um, show lineups with geotest less than 27. Say filter, and that should be cool. So here we will then, all we need is one, right? Top line up here. And this is this will be solid. This will be solid. This won't give us really any any dupes. So we'll put that into um, two point conversion, and it's going to be pretty much the same with the other two. Um, but just to show you the process, four point conversion, three hundred fifty people. 350 entries. So here you don't even need a 37 geometric mean. So here add a filter. This one uh, less than 37. Boom. Didn't even need to do anything. Put this one in the four point conversion. And then the spy, just to finish this off, 1,111. You need a gym at 31. So let's put that in. Show lineups with geotests. Uh, less than 31. And that's good. We'll put this into here. Spy. Boom. And now, just so that we don't forget, let's, we're going to save these to our lineups. And then we will enter those here. Now, again, the only thing that I would do differently is, again, the one thing that I did was I didn't X out some of those, you know, sub one point projected guys who literally might not play at all. So I would probably have to do a little more research on those types of, uh, of plays like the P Taylor. I mean, he actually has some rushes. He's been out. He returned. So he went to the practice squad. So I don't know, you know, I don't even know if he's playing. So what we probably have to do is, if you want to do this, yeah, let's go do this. So let's, 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 let's do this again. So let's take the filter out and let's go back to the players for a second. And we'll do another build, new build. Let's again, upload the player projections. Now this time it's just easier for me this way. And we'll, we'll include this and then we will, basically just get rid of of anybody who has a uh, a projection of less than like one you know so we can just you know just get rid of all these guys get rid of all these patrick taylor characters you know and then the flex now let's let's just see what that does to us you know does that mean that we can't um get the geometric mean lineups the way we want. I don't know, we're gonna see. Um, so the, these these guys, the Zamir White, we'll keep him, we'll keep the Trey Tucker. You know, just if it's over like one, we'll, we'll leave him in, how about that? Okay. So let's, let, let's redo the builds again. Uh, let's just make sure we have enough, uh, 5,000. And we'll fire it. Now again, you know, it's uh, 
this is learning, you know, this is not, and, and, and if you learn how to do this quickly when you're practicing, then when it actually comes to buying time to build lineups, you could blast. And again, if you wanted to change any of these during the course of your pre-builds, which is when I would do it, I wouldn't X out post-build. I mean, you see what we're doing here. We're making a value judgment. There's something different between a 1.68 and a 0.72. And that's you know, what you're going to end up getting. You got to be, be, you got to be prepared to get these guys, you know, in your lineups, especially if you're playing for the, the, you know, you're playing for the million dollars. You just, these are just the guys you're unfortunately going to have to play. Otherwise, like if you only played guys up over here, you'd end up with the, the possibility where you break the um where you hit the optimal and you end up cashing for like about fifteen hundred dollars, you know. So we're going to see, actually, I will pause this. So we've already done through whatever. We're going to pause this. I'll pick it up after this is done, which is just in a minute. All right. So again, this is the raw lineup uh, list before we've done any contest sim. So we have to go through the same thing again. We're going to run the contest sim. And then we are going to, again, see if that filter by GeoMean works after I've X'd out these like minus one point guys. And we're, I've made peace with the fact we're going to probably have a bunch of Don Tanian wicks and something like that. But hopefully we're still able to get. Um, the non duplicate lineups we want. OK, so let's uh, first first we will uh, list by lottery ROI um, and then we will again do that same filter. We will filter show lineups with. A uh, geo test. What was it? What did I need? Uh, 14 was it or 18? 18. Show lineups less than 18. Let's see if we can do this. Yeah, it looks like it's only giving me 10. Only 10 out of 5,000 with. Uh, with uh, 19. So what, I, what I'm probably going to do, uh, the other thing I could do then is check this out. I mean, I could take off this filter like this. And then what we'll do is we will just resort by well, we could resort by geotest. But we'd have to do this, we'll sort this way. And we could do the top 50 lineups downward sorted, right? <laughs> by by geotest. So you're getting like this one down here, so he says dupes two, and that's fine. 33, dupes two, that looks good. That one only dupe one, that looks good. Geotest 33, all right, so these look pretty good. So we are reverse sorting them by geomean or by geotest. So that's another way to do this. Um, and so let's do this. Let's let's save these for now. Put these home into, uh, in just into the lottery. Actually, we need 100, don't we? Playing 100. Uh, let's see, 100, okay. 100. 
we are again we want no we want low to high there we go and then we'll save these to the showdown here boom and away we go so yeah it does you you're dipping into those you know second 3000 ish lineups to get the type of duplication you want but you know if you are trying to you know win that million dollars that's the risk that you have to take so that'll do it for your for your preview of the slate tonight and again this we didn't talk about the games at all this is just kind of different ways to use the saber sim uh, tools to help build uh, your lives. That'll do it.